Holy shit. First things first, I feel bad for anybody named Karen. You know, I don't know where this name came from. It kind of came out of the blue. I don't know why people decided Karen was a good name for these really awful people. So if you're named Karen, I love you, all right? If you're a good person, you're great, Karen, okay? I'm sorry that you have to deal with this being compared to these really bad people. I'm so sorry. So if you don't know what the name Karen means, it's been on the internet for a little while, and I urban dictionaried it because that's what I do. Karen. The stereotypical name associated with rude, obnoxious, and insufferable middle-aged white women. Which is a great description because every single person in all of these videos is exactly that. Basically, there's been a bunch of videos of people freaking out in public about wearing masks, and I think it's so funny. We're gonna start with this lady because this is one of the most popular ones. This is day one. This is opening day of Trader Joe's in North Hollywood. This is Karen. Okay, uh, <laughs> so I just don't understand why wearing a mask makes you a democratic pig. There's a second clip of her actually, let me show you the rest of it. I have a breathing problem. My doctor would not let me wear a mask. So anyone harassing me to wear a mask, you guys are violating federal law. Do you get that? Get that on camera. I mean, it doesn't really look like she has a breathing problem. She's screaming at the top of her lungs. Like, I don't think I could do that without needing to take a deep breath in between those. She's yelling so loud that the whole store can hear her. So does she really have a breathing problem? Do you, Mrs. BB light blue shirt? You have a breathing problem, okay. If you thought that was bad, you might wanna like buckle up. You might want like two buckles actually. What, why are you wearing three if I wear a mask? Thank you, ask them. Because you're wearing a mask out of stupidity and you're further pushing the agenda. And the agenda is the deep state, which wants to control all of us and have us living in fear and thinking that you're contaminated. It is false narrative. And when you wear a mask, which you can certainly do, you are further pushing the agenda that is condemning all of us and keeps us living in a state of terror. She really thought she did something with all of her hand motions and yelling and then like her American dog shirt. Okay, Mrs. Who, go back to Whoville. Maybe the Grinch can ruin your Christmas this Christmas by wearing a mask. I've been looking forward to this shit all my life, so... Okay, first of all, what does that even mean? Like, you've been looking forward to, like, Target in masks your whole life? That, okay, that sounds exciting. Target? I'm not playing any more games. This shit you're throwing a fit in Target at, in like your middle age. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing, love. That didn't sound British. This shit's all over. This shit's 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 Take a shot every time she says shit. Rewind this like. 20 seconds and we can all have a fun night. I promise you it'll be fun. Take like 15 of them and then do, and then you'll go to the hospital. So I'm, I'm just don't do it. Don't do it. No, I'm not doing it. We don't we don't want any of this anymore. This is over. No, uh-uh, no. Do you, why? Why? You let everybody else do it. You let everybody else do it. I can't do it because I'm a blonde white woman. I'm wearing a $40,000 Rolex. I don't have the right shit on. Yo, you tell them. Rip those masks down. Make those workers work even harder. Nobody even noticed your Rolex. If you're wearing a $40,000 Rolex, why are you in Target, first of all? Anyways, why don't you go to like Burberry or like, I don't even know. Why don't you go to Gucci and buy groceries, whatever. We don't love her face in America. They don't control us. We're Americans. You're a Again, with the democratic thing, what, what is, what is, why is wearing a mask political? It doesn't even make any sense. First of all, everybody's controlled. Every human who lives is controlled. You have a social security number. You are tracked by a number. Also, you pay taxes. So I just don't understand what she means by wearing a mask. You're more controlled when you're paying taxes, giving money to, you know, people that you don't even know, right? You wear some good on my
Oh my gosh, she's an all lives matter. You know, they look like the people that would say that. I don't like to come for appearance, but when you are being a total asshole, like, I wonder what she picked up for food. It was something bland as f I'd get a, a million dollars. Nothing there has flavor because she doesn't have flavor. You're gonna work on my teeth, not my nose. I don't wear a mask getting my teeth cleaned. But it's about the safety of all of our- Fine, I'll cover my mouth. Can I go be seated now? This fit speaks volumes. Look at those leggings, man. Look at that. I don't even know what to call that. It's a bunch of colors. She got the she got the blue t-shirt on. She has the hot pink sandals, the tan bag the size of like my torso. She's got it going, man. Oh, because you're not you're not filling out the forms or letting us take your temperature. It's about protecting our You can't take my everybody. temperature. That's against the law. All right. Well, I can't You're not an you. MD. We're not okay. allowed to we can't no. see you. That's I have a right to sue you for harassing me, the ad manager, and this entire company, Smile, whatever you call it, dental. Okay. All right. So never, ever, if you get your temperature taken, you can sue. That is against the American law. That is my freedom. You will never take my temperature because that is my personal information. Always. I do have that right, and I talked to my attorney before I came here, too. Okay. So does he want that to happen? I've waited long enough for my teeth to be cleaned, okay? Let's get this done, okay? He has to send me in written writing, so I want to see your policy. You shouldn't be in the building without a mask either. I can do what I want. No, I'm you free. Can't. It's this not a, a law. Office. It's not a law. This is a medical law. No, it's a dental office. So unfortunately, there is so much shit coming out of her mouth that, you know, they can't possibly clean all that anyway, so I would definitely reject her too. That's the reason she hasn't gotten a cleaning anyways, because everybody just can't even do it, because it's so much bullshit. Damn, she really threw the drumsticks. You threw the drumsticks on the floor, man? That probably broke open and all the salmonella went all over the floor. Imagine wasting like 45 minutes getting a carriage full. Oh, sorry, a cart full. I know everyone's gonna drag me for saying that. Hey, I'm from Massachusetts. We call it a carriage. Don't be rude. Don't be mean to me. Imagine going to the store for 45 minutes, filling up your cart with groceries and then leaving because you were asked to wear a mask at the checkout. I just don't understand, man. I gotta get out of here. I gotta go. I gotta, st I gotta go. I have to leave America. Do you really need this? What do you want to do? Post it for you? How about that? How about that? How about you suck it? Oh shit, like you gave me the finger? Oh my god, that's so mean. That really, that that ruined my day. I think I'll get real close to you and pop on you then. How's that? <coughs> oh, Asshole. wow. Let's go. I just can't believe some people think like this. I, I, like, I, you, uh, okay. All right, how about I cough on you and you walk up to the person and you and you get right in their face and you cough. Are we like five? This one has to be my favorite because she's got the entire outfit down to the hairstyle. Just, just watch it. To say that masks spread illness, masks do not prevent illness. There is an abundance of evidence. Go to thehealthyamerican.org. You're gonna click under research and laws. I have already done the research for you. First of all, driving and broadcasting. Don't do it. Second of all, she reminds me of the woman from SpongeBob who needed the chapstick. I'm just saying, I know I need chapstick too, so I can say it. Get this, the FDA states that even the N95 respirators do not prevent illness or death. Wearing a mask isn't gonna prevent you 100% from getting an illness or 100% from dying. A lot of products that help with things, for example, a mask, they're not gonna guarantee that you will not get ill and guarantee that you will not die. They can't give you a 100% answer because that's not how it works. It's not gonna prevent spreading 100% of the time, but it's something that actually works to a degree, so why not use it? If a medical mask does not prevent the spread of illness, how in the good Lord's name can a paper mask or a cloth mask or something that you made up or bought on the internet that you wear in and out of store and put on your chin as you're walking around and then put that all the germs from your chin back on your nose and mouth how in the good Lord's name is that going to prevent the spread of germs and illness it does not it does not who's wearing a mask on their chin 
Are you guys wearing, are you putting a mask just on your chin and then like rubbing it in your nose and, and mouth? Is that, did I? Am I not wearing it right? There is an excessive amount of things that we do with our chins. We do, we use our chins every day. Um, so there is a lot of bacteria there. <laughs> there is a lot of bacteria there. So, you know, our chins must be filthy with bacteria. So I, I get what she's saying, you know, cause we do use them most of the time for everything that we do. Or a gay, homosexual piece of crap is going to burn in hell. Air that. Are I will. Do you work? Oh, hey, Karen. Do you work? She has the haircut, man. What else can I say? You are a gay, gay person. You are such a transgender, transgender. I can't believe this is like, this is the signature haircut with the signature pose of what a Karen actually is. All of these people are definitely siblings. Like they all married each other. It's, are you see, are you seeing what I'm seeing? So this is the one that I really laughed out loud to, like a very loud laugh. So maybe you guys will feel the same way. I protest face coverings. I am a healthy American. I used to be free. What does that even mean? What you used to be free? Because I'm pretty sure um, you've been free the whole time, especially the era that you grew up in, because you're privileged. So I. I what do you just, what, I just, oh my God, dude. I am a proud Trump Republican, Trump Republican yearning to be free again. Shame on all of you. Let liberty ring. God bless America, land that I- This, this is why that caught me totally off guard. I, what, what? Like, God bless America. This is what made me laugh out loud because I wasn't expecting that. Where, like, for, where did she get the bell from? And then she just started singing, like, the national anthem. I just don't, I don't, I died. That was the funniest thing I've seen in a while. So that, you know, that's the type of people we have here. So it's great, you know, it's, it's great. I love it. It makes me feel so good. You know, I figured I would save the best for last. All right, and this is the best one for last. And they want to throw God's wonderful breathing system out the door. If we have a second wave, I feel what we do to masking healthy citizens. I will not tolerate putting a muzzle on my mouth to keep me from speaking to people, to keep me from, from them seeing my smile. Last time I wore a mask, I could actually talk. Like I had the ability to talk and people could understand what I was saying. I really don't think anybody is missing out on your smile. It literally is killing people. And my, the people, we the people are waking up and we know what citizen's arrest is because citizen's arrests are already happening, okay? And every single one of you that are obeying the devil's laws are going to be arrested. All right, um, I don't know what the devil's laws are, but if you are obeying them, you will be arrested. You heard it here first. Don't obey the devil's laws, okay? That probably includes wearing a mask. How will young children be able to know who the dangerous deviants are, like pedophiles and people in the human sex trafficking? Oh yeah, that makes sense, because all the pedophiles and the sex trafficking people have specific mouths and noses. Like, we know how to point them out. Even the young children. Like, all pedophiles have a seven-inch nose. Because, you know, that's that's a thing. Don't wear a mask for the same reason I don't un wear underwear. Things gotta breathe. <sighs> Okay, just wear jeans with no underwear. You know, best feeling, be free. Let it breathe all in your jeans, man. That's, just let it sweat in your jeans. I'm also the daughter of somebody who lived through Germany. You're forcing people to wear masks, they were forced to wear a star. Did she just compare wearing a mask to Nazi Germany? You're comparing wearing a mask to concentration camps because the two are totally different. Like that is just incomparable. And I say Trump 2020, and I hope every one of you gets voted out who votes for a mask here. I like how they all say the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah, so that's the end of that. Moral of the story, just put a mask on, man. It's not, it's not the end of the world, okay? It's not that hard. So yeah, anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great night. Stay safe. It is really scary still out there with the whole COVID thing. Wear a mask, don't be these people here. And thank you so much for watching my video. I will see you next week with a new one. Bye.
Thank you.